Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another episode. Actually, I should really say this is the first video of 2024 on my channel and I've just been feeling really under the weather after the holidays and I just didn't really have the energy to make any videos or content. So apologies for the lack of content, but we will be ramping it up as the weeks go on. So stay tuned for that. Today we're going to be reviewing the Arcteryx Mantis One Waste Pack. Let's get into it. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products just like this one here. So if you're into that type of content, then please consider hitting the subscribe button right down below. And if you are a returning subscriber or a viewer, then thank you so much for the support. I hit the 1000 subscriber, I guess, mark right on the last day of 2023 and that was my goal so i was super happy thank you so much for your support i truly appreciate it let's get into the review of the arcteryx mantis one waste pack i've been using this waste pack specifically for about three weeks now and i thought i would share some of my thoughts some pros some cons and ultimately if you should be using your hard-earned money to purchase this bag. Let's look at some of the details for this waste pack here. So this waste pack is $50 Canadian or $40 USD. The size or capacity for this is 1.5 liters and the dimensions of the actual waste pack is 15 centimeters in length, 21 centimeters in width and eight centimeters in depth. This is either a waste pack or over the shoulder type of pack. The color for this particular pack is black number two, I guess. So it's black on black. And the model is X00006157. The weight is about 165 grams or 5.8 ounces. So very light pack. And the shoulder strap length is about 110 centimeters. In terms of materials, there's not much to it. This pack is made of 100% recycled polyester and it is coated with a fabric repellent material as well. So this will be water resistant, which is really awesome. Some of the features of this bag is that it's super lightweight. As I had mentioned, it's 165 grams or 5.8 ounces. It's very durable, high quality material very versatile as I've mentioned again you can use it in many different ways over the shoulder and as a waste pack as the actual name of the product suggests there is a spacer mesh padded back panel for comfort and ventilation again a water repellent fabric there is a front pocket with a key clip a stash pocket on the back panel which i will tell you right now is one of my favorite features of this pack and also the arcteryx bird logo right on the front which is kind of camouflage which i personally kind of like let's review the actual product so i'm going to talk about some of the things i love about this pack and then near the end of the video i'm going to talk about some of the suggestions that I would make to Arcteryx for this pack specifically. So let's get into it. Uh, the I'll tell you the reason why I actually bought this pack. I tend to go out on errands a lot sometimes and usually I just bring my, sometimes I don't even bring my wallet because I do have my driver's license and all my like credit cards are in my phone and I do have an extra debit card if the, those fail. So generally I'm bringing like my phone and my keys for my car just to go in and out. And sometimes I just need something really, really small, just like this one here. And I just want to carry it if I don't have pockets in my jackets, for example, or if I don't even need a jacket entirely because the weather is really nice outside. So that was kind of the main reason for the pack is when I don't have a lot of things to carry and I'm just kind of have my phone, wallet and keys 
and this is the purpose of why I got this pack. So the thing that I really like about it is that it's really small and lightweight, which is a big plus for me, especially when I just have a few things to carry when I'm out and about in the city running some errands. The other thing that I love about this pack is that it's super versatile. So you can use it as a over the shoulder type of bag. You can use it as a crossbody, and you can use it ultimately as a waist pack, which I think was the intended purpose of this pack. So there's really a lot of different ways that you can wear it, which is really nice. And it does have these really nice adjustable straps, very simple to use and even has a buckle on the actual strap, which is really cool. And so really easy to just kind of adjust on the go. I'm gonna have to pull this and there's this little elastic band here that will kind of move to where you have, you have adjusted it and boom away you go throw over your shoulder put on your waist and away you go very simple and I love the versatility of this pack. When talking about materials from Arcteryx you will notice that it never disappoints they have really good high quality materials and this did not disappoint on this pack. Let's talk about how many pockets this little mini compact pack has and I'm gonna kind of show you kind of like a what's in my pack here so you can see just how much actual stuff is fitting inside here and this is what I typically carry uh, when I'm grabbing this pack. So there's a front pocket here and I have a uh, lotion. This is uh, 30 mil milliliters and I also have a lip gloss. This one's 10, 10 grams. So pretty like substantial size for the front pocket. So there's a lot in there. And let's open up the main compartment. Here are my keys, so I have that in there. And this is my my wallet, I guess. Very compact. Uh, so typically, like I said at the beginning of the video, I usually just carry my phone because I do have this little wallet on the back of my phone. So that is something that I'm typically just carrying, but I do keep my wallet in there if I need it. So my wallet is in there. And then I have a uh, sun stick, sunscreen, just because I'm really crazy about making sure my skin is protected. But this is really the main compartment here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's this little front pocket at the front, the main compartment, and then even another pocket back here, which comes with a key clip, but I just keep a hair elastic in there. I think it's kind of hard to put your key in here but it's a great way not to lose your key. I guess if you have like one or two keys, it would kind of work on this key uh, clip here. So that's the main compartment. And then there's also this little stash compartment on the back of the bag, which I is my favorite feature of this bag. Because oftentimes when we're out and about, especially when we're doing errands and we want to look up things, you're often taking out your phone a lot. So instead of taking it out from the main compartment, you can really just pop it out of here. And as you can see, this is the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max, just the Pro. And it even has the wallet on there, so it's pretty thick. And it's just really easy to just slide your phone in and covers most of it, which I really like. Super easy to just take in and out and it's just very convenient, I love it. So you take that out and, or you can use this for, I don't know, maybe if you have like a bus pass or something that you're constantly taking in and out, you could probably put it in there. And then it has the stitching of the Arcteryx in there. On the front of the pack, there is this, the bird logo from Arcteryx, which is really nice and another uh, feature I think that is great that it's black on black is that when you're traveling it's not really noticeable and if people know the brand they're less likely to try and take things from your bag if they don't know it's a like a high-end brand or anything like that so I really like that so as you can see I'm fitting a lot of things inside this small little compact pack some days I don't have as much but I mean the lip gloss and 
the lotion and my sun stick are usually always in there and then whatever I'm just kind of grabbing on the go I'm just putting it as we go but you can fit a lot in here as you can tell this is not a very big pack at all but so far so good I really love it it's been about three weeks to about a month of me using it pretty religiously I really like all the features that I had mentioned earlier in the video so here are some of the things that I think Arcteryx could probably improve on I do think that this shoulder length is slightly shorter than I would like although I will say I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, so I'm a bit of a taller person and maybe it's just because of my height it doesn't look convincing in terms of the length I would like it to be a little bit lower on the hip but that's just kind of my preference um, I will say the straps are easy to use however it's pretty thin and maybe I can get some b-roll just showing you how thin it is uh, but I mean it is a small pack right so I do understand why they kind of went on the thinner uh, way for this bag however I do think the quality of the strap could probably be a little bit better and they have this nice little elastic to kind of hold it in place and I think that could have just been I don't know they probably could have done a little bit better job on that uh, but I mean, it still works I mean it does its purpose but all in all it's a little bit short for me I just wish the strap was a little bit longer but that's just kind of my opinion and uh, the only thing that I don't really like about this bag but nonetheless it still works it does its purpose which I really like and that's the only really negative thing that I could think of for this pack here very comfortable to wear very easy to adjust you can fit quite a few things in there to, for it to be a pretty small compact pack if you need something a little bit bigger i would probably suggest the mantis 2 waist pack i do believe it, it is bigger but i do personally have a side bag that is like similar in size so i didn't want that uh, but i do think you could fit a lot more in that pack so all in all i would recommend this pack if you're someone who can carry light and someone who maybe wants to use it while they're traveling and they're out and about and they don't have too much to carry i think this would be the perfect pack for that and it does come in all different colors as well the ones that i saw online were this like golden color and then the other one was like a nice navy with uh, light blue accent zippers so if you like that look then that's really nice as well they have different colors in the bigger mantis twos so definitely check that out but let me know if you have this pack or if you have any questions about it let me know i will try my best to try and help answer your questions if i can but that's gonna do it for today's video all in all i love this pack and i recommend it 100 percent if you're someone who can fit everything in here all right that's gonna do for today's video and i will catch you in the next one peace bye hey everyone thanks for checking out today's video please consider subscribing to see more content just like this there is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one